This is the fifth demo in the series of six demos about reclaiming repositories in Oracle VM. This video also provides top-level information about the repository reclaim operations for Demo 5 and Demo 6. In the first four demos, you learn about creating, deleting, releasing, and moving repositories between server pools. In demos 5 and 6, you learn how to reclaim repositories. As shown in case 1 in the diagram, if a repository was released properly, you can take ownership of that repository from a new server pool or even from an Oracle VM environment with a new manager UUID. In demos 5 and 6, you learn how to reclaim repositories that were not released properly before their Oracle VM Manager environment was taken down or reinstalled. This situation is shown in case 2 in the diagram. Demo 5 explains the steps to reclaim a repository when the Oracle VM Manager UUID has remained the same, but the server pool has a new cluster ID. Demo 6 shows the steps to reclaim a repository when the Oracle VM Manager UUID is different and the server pool has a new cluster ID. Notice that to reclaim ownership of a repository with a new Oracle VM environment, you must perform one additional step. This step is explained in Demo 6. In Demo 5, you reclaim a repository after reinstalling the Oracle VM environment. For this purpose, the Oracle VM environment used for this demo has been rebuilt. The new demo environment has kept the UUID of the previous Oracle VM Manager installation. The goal of this demo is to reclaim the iSCSI repository from your previous environment to the rebuilt environment. In this rebuilt Oracle VM environment, you are using a different storage element for your server pool file system. When server pool pool 4 was created, the server pool acquired a new cluster ID. However, the iSCSI repository from the previous environment has retained the cluster ID of its previous server pool. Before proceeding, Make sure that the networking and storage configuration has been completed in the new environment. The Oracle VM server in Pool 4 must participate in all the necessary networks and have access to the storage element where the repository is located. Before you can manage the repository from the Oracle VM Manager UI or CLI, you must update the cluster ID that is currently associated with the repository. You perform this update once from any Oracle VM server which is part of the server pool that is reclaiming the repository. Log in to an Oracle VM server belonging to the server pool. Execute the mount d.ocfs2 command and if you wish Execute the same command to only display the dev mapper entries. In the output of this command, you can see the active cluster shown for the server pool file system. The LUN associated with the repository shows a different cluster ID. Execute the FSCK OCFS2 command to update the cluster ID for the repository. Provide the dev mapper entry for the repository as parameter to the FSCK command. When asked if you want to update the cluster configuration to match the running cluster, enter Y. When you reissue the mount d.ocfs2 command, 
you can see that the repository's cluster ID now matches the cluster ID of the server pool file system. From the UI, access the Storage tab and click the Share File System folder in the Navigation pane. In the Management pane, refresh the file system on which the repository is located. Click the Repositories tab. Your Reclaim repository is showing up in the list of repositories. But your repository does not belong to any server pool yet. Highlight the iSCSI repo repository in the navigation pane and click Edit. Select Pool 4 from the Server Pool drop-down list and click OK. The repository is automatically presented to the two Oracle VM servers in the Server Pool. To be able to access the resources in the repository, you must refresh the repository. Once refreshed, you can view and use the repository's resources. You have successfully reclaimed your iSCSI repository after reinstalling your Oracle VM environment.